When we divide by a thousand, we move the digits three place values to the right. So if we have 4,000 divided by 1,000, we move the digits three places to the right, and we get 4.000. But 4.000 just tells us that we have four units, no tenths, no hundredths, and no thousandths. So if we have zeros at the end of a number after the decimal point, we can ignore them, so our answer to 4,000 divided by 1,000 can just be written as 4. Now what about 3,700 divided by 1,000? We move the digits three places to the right, and we get 3.700. So that tells us that we have three units, seven tenths, no hundredths, and no thousandths. But again, if we have zeros at the end of a decimal number, we can ignore them, so our answer to 3,700 divided by 1,000 can just be written as 3.7. So what is 8,950 divided by 1,000? We move three places to the right, and that gives us 8.950. Again, we can ignore the zero at the end of a decimal number, because all it tells us here is that we have no thousandths. But just writing 8.95 also tells us this. So although 8.950 isn't wrong, we would usually just write 8.95 here. What is 2,456 divided by 1,000? We move three places to the right, and we have 2.456. Now, what is 45,870 divided by 1,000? Moving three places to the right, we get 45.870, which we can write as 45.87. So what is 701,800 divided by 1,000? We move three places to the right, and that gives us 701.800. But again, we can ignore zeros at the end of a decimal number and just write 701.8. And finally, what is 984,721 divided by 1,000? We move the digits three places to the right, and that gives us our answer, 984. 0.721